Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to clear the Sentai Rangers event in King of Fighters All-Stars on Infernal Difficulty. Um, it is a very simple strategy to beat this, very popular strategy, but without this strategy I find this uh, mode to be extremely difficult. Um, so we're going to explain it and we'll explain it right now. Um, in terms of team makeup, it doesn't really matter what you bring. Uh, there, there's no... Uh, you don't need any specific unit per se, okay? Although uh, I do like Terry. I think Terry makes this trivial at best. Um, but any unit can pretty much do this. So let's just go through how I'm going to complete it. Um, obviously, you probably want to bring purple units though, right? Since the event is a blue event. So the event starts off with three waves of mobs. The best thing you can do is try to get them all together if you can. Um, and as you see me just clearing this out relatively quickly. But, uh, you know, the, these mobs can be annoying. They have a, Some of them have armor. They shoot this annoying fireball. So see, I roll through and then I just try to kind of hit them all with my abilities. In this mode, you don't have to save your desperation move because you're not going to need it. So... Uh, I did save it, but you actually shouldn't save it. Like, probably use it here on the third... Oh, okay, well, I did use it. So, yeah, you use it on this third wave. You know, just help you clear it out. Okay? So, here's the boss fight. Now, there are a lot of mechanics in this fight. Okay? A lot of things that go on. I'm not going to talk about any of those mechanics simply because you can ignore all of them by just looping the character. So one thing to understand about the Clark, the Sentai Rangers, these two guys, is that if you use special, if you use your abilities on them, then they get a uh, hyper armor the next time they get up. So this can be difficult because you cannot really like land a combo and you're forced to run around. And in the later parts of this phase, they get uh, additional units and stuff that also have hyper armor that just make this a nightmare of a fight to fight normally. So what I would like to do is bypass all those extra phases. So in order to do that, you don't use any of your special, your abilities. You don't use your, your power wave, your tackle, your uh, power dunk, your specials, nothing, okay? We're just gonna use regular attacks. What happens is if you use a string of regular attacks on these guys, when they get knocked down, they will always roll. And when they roll, you chase them down and you hit them with another string of regular attacks and you do this ad infinitum. You just keep doing it until they die, okay? Now, with Terry, well, I'll just play it and I'll show you. Terry also has super armor. So if Terry is blocking and a unit hits him, Terry will get uh, super armor for five seconds so this will allow him to start the the combo the phase this is very important this is not very important versus ralph because versus ralph you can just block all his attacks and when he finally finishes attacking you can counter attack but versus clark clark has hyper armor already and a grab and it's very very difficult to start the combo on clark and that's why having a character that has some type of um armor or damage immunity uh, that is activatable early and not tied to a skill is very good so you watch here watch i'm blocking he attacks me i get armor and then i attack so i attack him a bunch he rolls and then i attack him again and he rolls and as soon as he goes across my body that's when i attack and that is it that is it and you can do this with anybody you can do this with Oh, well, for this Inferno event, obviously you should have a level 90 character or at least a level 85 character because, you know, if you do it with a lower level character, um, the attack might not cause hit stun and then that will just break your loop. So you can see right here, I'm do all I'm doing is just as soon as he rolls, I attack or as soon as the roll is completed, I attack. And that's important. You don't want to attack while it's crossing your body because you might attack the wrong direction. And you see I'm not using any specials because I don't want uh, to mess this up. And this is really, really simple. This, you know, I'm just going to do this continuously until he gets down to like a couple life bars and I can spam some damage. 
if you stop this, then other phases of the fight will take place. And some of the phases are easy, but once the extra mobs come up and both the fight Sentai Rangers are on the field, it's a nightmare. So it is just best to, like, you know, just ride this out this way. I use this, and this is, this works, this is Inferno, but this also works in the other difficulties, like the normal, expert, and lunatic. And you'll see here at the end, I'm using all my abilities, throw that into Trinity Geyser. And that is it. So, the hardest part of the fight is the beginning. Is this part right, uh, let me find, is right here. This part. So in this, in this, like in this case, I use the hyper armor. But if you don't have a character that has hyper armor, there is another solution to this. And that would just be to swap. Because swap forces your opponent to roll. Like the swap will give you a pseudo knockdown. So like for instance, if I didn't have Terry and I was using, like let's say I was using Geese, um, I could stand here and when this character, like Clark or whoever gets next to me, I swap into kill. And then what will happen is the character will roll. But I have to make sure that I dash forward to chase down the roll and then start my attack. But once you have completed the first loop, it's just a matter of catching all the additional rolls with an attack. And that's it. And that's all you got to do. Very simple um, strategy to clear what can be a frustrating, frustrating um, event so far. I w this is definitely harder than the uh idol athena event uh advent event but um it, with this trick it's it's very easy to complete um in terms of team makeup like i said it doesn't matter who you bring but having some kind of armor that's activatable without using skills uh, definitely helps a lot um, additionally i believe this is worth doing because Sentai Ralph and Sentai Clark are two really, really good characters. They have hyper armor, they have damage immunity, so they they have a really good uh, three power gauge uh, ability. Um, so the, these characters are very good for both PvP and for PvE for different modes, and they're totally free. So, I mean, it's a great way to get some probably some of the best free characters in the game so yeah definitely check this out do let me know uh what kind of strategies you guys also use for any of these events or whatnot and what kind of um content you would like to see in terms of how to clear certain bosses so obviously this is a very very easy strategy and i hope it's uh, helpful to you see you guys next time